Hello learners, this is Sam from Tag to Schooling and today we are going to talk about the gametogenesis. Genesis. So here today we are going to talk about the uh, gametogenesis uh, in which, which is actually a process through which the sperm, sperm we are going to find, uh, we are going to get sperms or gametes uh, through the process of spermatogenesis from the cells, alright? So uh, to be specific, spermid, uh, actually the gametogenesis has been divided into two, uh, two uh, I guess two types. All right, you, because uh, in gametogenesis we have the uh, we we want to get the male sperm and the female uh, female uh, egg. All right. So what happens uh, in the male spermatogenesis? In the male it happens as a spermatogenesis because we need. Sperms. So in the male, the gametogenesis process is called spermatogenesis, and in the female, the uh, gametogenesis process is called oogenesis. So let's start by from the male. So what happens in the initial phase? The cells of the gamete, uh, of the cells of the gametes, are the initial cells are are called, which are two n in number. Remember that they are. Um, Diploid. So what happened? There's spermatogonium. All right, we call those cells spermatogonium, and after those spermatogonium, it go undergoes a process called mitosis. So we we all remember through a mitosis process, we get equal number of daughter cells. Why we can call them daughter cells? Because the mother or the female have the ability to produce more. Male have no ability to produce. So that's why now the cells are called daughter cells, specifically not son cells. You, you never heard of son cell. You, you call the daughter cells. So through this process, uh, through the process of mitosis, we get a spermatogonium. Or there is only one my mitosis, remember that. And that spermatogonium is going to convert into the primary spermatocytes so we have two the double n number uh, which is the spermatogonium and the primary spermatocytes so spermatogonium is going to convert into my but through a process of mitosis into sperm primary spermatocytes and from there we the process is going to occur uh, the meiosis is going to start there would be only one me uh, there only one process of meiosis but the meiosis itself consists of two parts the meiosis part and again the meiosis too which is similar to the mitosis but it's not mitosis it's uh, the second part of the meiosis so what happens in the first part of meiosis the 2n the double n number divides into single n number all right from diploid we are getting going to the haploid so the initial two cells we are getting are called the secondary spermatocytes remember that spermatogonium mitosis primary spermatocyte and from that the, through the process of meiosis 1 we are going to get secondary spermatocyte and again through the process of meiosis 2 we are going to get the spermatid Rich permitted are not mature because they haven't they haven't got tail and other features. So for the spermatid, which are actually the final cells, but they have to get mature. So they uh, they wait until they get mature, and finally they are converted into the sperm. So nothing difficult. You have to remember. You have to just remember it like this. There's only one mitosis and one meiosis. Remember that one mitosis, one meiosis, and we know that meiosis has got two parts. That's it. One mitosis, one meiosis to get a sperm from a spermatogonium. All right. Simple. Remember this: spermatogonium convert to primary spermatocyte. That is going to convert to secondary spermatocyte. That is finally going to convert into the spermatid, which is not, which are not actually mature. After maturation, these spermatid are going to convert into the sperm. So this process is kind of similar to the. Uh, similar to the oogenesis, which is the formation of egg. All right, here we have a, 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 a picture. You know, uh, if you are a pre-medical student, you might not understand it, but maybe you have heard of it. Uh, the actually the eggs are actually matured after puberty. Remember this one. This is really important. We have eggs, primary oos in the form of primary oocytes that are not actually mature. Uh, which are not actually mature before birth, but in male it is it's it's another story. But in female it's not the same. You know what happens? Uh, the initial cells are called the oogonium, which are actually converted before birth. Remember that before birth they are converted into the mitosis through a process of mitosis into primary oocyte, and they are going to stop there, and they are produced in the embryo. Remember that they are produced all. Remember that one thing more. 
all ugonium are going to be converted into the primary oocyte. Nothing is going to be left for the uh, anything for after birth. Every ugonium is going to be converted through a process of mitosis uh, into the primary oocyte, and primary oocyte is going to wait after 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 puberty. You know, after birth and after puberty, that primary oocyte is actually going to convert into that uh, that uh, matured cell, not. The ugonium is going to because ugonium before birth is going to be completely converted into the primary oocyte through a process of mitosis. All right, so uh, we got primary oocytes, but as we uh, we get birth and after we're reaching puberty, which depends on female, it, uh, it's uh, uh, different in males. It's a little bit different. And after puberty, this primary oocyte, which is already residing there, is going to through a process of meiosis is going to convert. Is actually through a continuous process. And you know it's going to convert into the secondary oocyte similar to this one remember this the secondary spermatocyte from the male a male uh, through a process uh, spermatogenesis in male here we got a sp uh, secondary spermatocyte and uh, that is after puberty all right we also get a polar body so what is the concept of polar body you know from one ugonium remember that we get only one one egg and other three cells which are called polar bodies are actually going to be destroyed they are of no use so what happens uh, here we get two polar we got uh, one polar body one uh, one egg and it's further going through it's because it's a meiosis we have to get, go through another process but which is not actually uh, which is actually not shown here we get other two other because this is going to be divide we get other polar body and from this we also get another polar body and finally we get this egg so other th there would be three polar bodies three polar bodies are not actually not shown in this picture which is pretty wrong but um, you you would have three polar bodies in the final stage and that three polar bodies are going to destroy because they are too uh, small and actually their job is to provide with nutrients and whatever they got to the uh, main cell main egg and finally they are the polar bodies are destroyed and this egg and this egg is finally uh, going to get uh, mature all right and finally we uh, this sperm and egg are going to come together and uh, they go through a fertilization and further from fertilization all the process go on so this is all the the basic idea of the gametogenesis which explained about the spermatogenesis and genesis and if you think you want to learn more and uh, if we can make things easy and better for you please make sure uh, to tell us and uh, we can teach it as easy as possible thank you